open with a little bit more of a detailed explanation of what I'm doing here uh, in Jerusalem because for some of you who are just tuning into my vlogs you might be like what what is this channel about for those of you who've been watching my previous vlogs about life on a hospital ship in West Africa you might also be wondering why I'm now living in Jerusalem so just as a general intro my name is Karis it rhymes with Paris I'm a second year seminary student I have an amazing mother father and brother named Wesley I used to live on a hospital ship in West Africa I'm currently living and studying at Jerusalem University College for the next couple months as a semester abroad program I'm in the library a lot like a lot a lot I live with my amazing roommate Hannah I absolutely love exploring new places but refuse to use maps so you'll have to bear with me Realizing I chose a very loud place to film this, there's like some guy welding down there. An interesting fact, this school is built on the modern day Mount Zion. And to the left over here is the Hinnom Valley, which in the New Testament is translated as hell or Gehenna. So I'm literally looking down at hell right now, living right next to hell. So we like to joke about that a lot when we go down there. So anyways, there's lots to experience here. And this has been a dream of mine for so long. I first came to Israel when I was 14 years old. And since that trip, I told myself one day I will come back and I'll study for at least a full semester. And now it's over 10 years later, but that dream is finally coming true. And I'm so thankful to be here. On the first day of orientation here, the president of JUC, Paul Wright, said that we come here often expecting the land and being in the land of the Bible to bring the Bible to life. But he actually said, I don't believe that. I, the Bible is already alive. So coming here isn't going to bring the Bible alive, but coming here will help bring you alive to the Bible. And I absolutely love that idea. That is my hope for my time here. And that's also my hope really for what we can experience in these vlogs together too, is a coming alive to the Bible, a coming alive to all there is to see and experience and understand here. So stoked to take you on the journey. Today, we're going on an adventure. Rampart Wall in Jerusalem, the old city of Jerusalem. I really recommend doing this if you're only here for a few days um, or for however long you're here for. It's a great thing to do at the beginning of your trip because it gives you a great overall view of the city. There's two um, gates where you can enter to do the wall tour. And we started yesterday with the Jaffa, starting from Jaffa to the Damascus Gate. Now we're doing Jaffa to the Zion Gate. You get your tickets um, inside Jaffa. When you're walking through the gate to the left, there's a little stall that says like Rampart Walk Tours and it's 10 shekels. You can use the tickets for two days. Super, super awesome. Okay, wait, guys, what did you think of the rampart walk? <laughs> Beautiful. Those are very descriptive. Rocky. Beautiful. <laughs> so lovely. We definitely cheap. recommend. Okay, so we've been studying all day, so we're gonna go for a coffee break and explore. Church of the Holy Sepulcher and then instead go into this church building which I will find a name and put here right now Boom. then <laughs> then you can go to this cafe there's the door is that the door where I don't know how to get out of here <laughs> also you might never leave <laughs> Update guys, we're actually trapped in here. 
so we don't know how to get out. Like, I thought I was just joking, you know, like, oh, it's funny. It's not funny nope, anymore. All the doors are locked. All the doors are like actually locked. Okay, okay. Here we go. Pray over it. <laughs> it says exit. I did pray. <laughs> we can't get out. All the doors are locked. What the heck? <laughs> to ask a, a guy but we made it Hope's husband. Hope's we had to ask Cope's future husband you don't exit the way that you enter it's through the church on the way out okay so we are off to the Rockefeller Center um, to do a homework assignment got to draw some artifacts up and apparently going to the best falafel place in the city so only time will tell and putting falafel in my mouth so let's go how do you feel about the best falafel place i feel so excited there are falafel it's only 10 shekels i have yet to try it so i don't know should i do it right now try yeah. it mm. so good right that is a good a good falafel We're heading into the Rockefeller Museum to paint some stuff. And by paint, I mean draw. And by draw, I mean sketch terribly. JUC campus. It's so beautiful. The sun is setting. Uh, just a lovely time to be here and it's not as cold as I thought it was gonna be so great. I can still be out in the garden and I have been reflecting on what my vlogs are gonna look like while I'm here in Jerusalem. For the most part now that I've been to a lot of my classes and have seen the syllabus or uh, the syllabi um, I'm realizing that I really don't have a lot of control of my schedule. I mean, that's when you're in class and you're going on field trips. You got to be with the group you're learning, you're writing notes. All that to say, my plan is to definitely make a few kind of helpful how-to videos, particularly of Jerusalem, because this is where I have more free time and free evenings. So if you're here for just like practical help when it comes to seeing Jerusalem, how-to videos, I will have a playlist for you. But for the most part, I really just want to take you all with me on the adventure. I don't really know what that will look like because some days I'm just in class taking notes and studying and other days we're like going to like 15 places and running around the land. So I just invite you to join me in the wonderful, crazy, but awesome chaos of being a JUC student and studying this land. Excited to see how that turns out. And thanks for all of you who are going on this journey with me and I'll see you next time. Oh, and I almost forgot, if you like videos like this, please make sure to subscribe and then press the little little bell button so that you can be notified whenever I post videos because I don't really have a certain day of the week that I'm posting on. I'm just gonna upload vlogs whenever I can. So if you press that little bell button, uh, it'll make sure to notify you whenever my new videos are up. So thanks for watching and now I'll see you next time.